It is arguably the greatest rivalry in New Zealand provincial rugby. It dates back to 1883 and it pits the largest union in the North Island against the largest in the South. It's Auckland against Canterbury and it's also the grand final of the ITM Cup in 2012. Well, it's becoming increasingly more difficult to rack up 100 games for one province. But Daniel Braid achieves that magnificent mark this evening. As Glenn Jackson gets the final for 2012 underway, and Anscombe goes away to the blind side, and uh, Auckland have claimed it, and uh, they've done it really well too. Now Anscombe moves it across, he's going to sling it wide. Here's Piatau, one of the danger men in the competition. Now Hadley Parks gets the pass away, and here's an opportunity for Joe Edwards, as Auckland are right there, and very close to the line. As Canterbury continue to make the tackles, little pass back on the inside, nicely claimed in the finish, and offload to Parks. And Hadley Parks scores the try. Canterbury haven't touched the ball yet, and Auckland have the lead. Touch! Go, go that way, go that way. Got a free kick quickly taken by Luke Whitelock, and off he goes. Off it goes to Fruin. Look at Robbie Fruin's work on the inside, and Tom Taylor. Scores the try, Robbie Fruin sets it up, Canterbury straight back into it. Top class rugby this season, that includes Super Rugby, and his first kick of the night is bang on target. And it's seven apiece in the final. Nowhere to go. There's Matthewson again. Now here's Williams ranging wide. Fruin. Making good ground though. Up in the line comes Piotr, quick hands, beautifully done. Here's a chance. Well, it is too, and they'll have uh, four or five minutes uh, after the break as well. Going to have a word to uh, Ali Williams if we can during the break just to get his gauge on the pace of this. Well, he's tapped it wildly and been picked up by George Whitelock. So Canterbury turned the ball over at line out time as Blindale hands it on to Crotty. Crotty's on the field. scored just before the break it is half time so 15 points to 13 Ellis here's a drop kick from Blindale and it is a good one three further points for Canterbury Matthewson waiting now he gets it off to Braid Canterbury now backed onto their own goal line there's ball stolen by Ellis. That's all right. Glenn Jackson said that's fine. So back they go, scrambling. And it's uh, Anscombe. Off now to Piatel. They'll look to counter-attack. This could be interesting. Canterbury don't often concede long-distance tries. Ellis gets it. Now here's a real chance. Here's Fruin. Pops the pass. Scores the try. Well, Canterbury have struck. Oh, I'm not entirely sure how. If you heard it back home, Glenn Jackson said no to Andy Ellis, and then he said yes. And because of that turnover, you've got to say that. Well, we'll let we'll let it go as it is. From there, Canterbury struck. Piatel, not a good decision. There was plenty of Canterbury players there. Their body position is good. They turned it over here. To be fair, Fruin probably almost butchered it. He just needed to give the pass then. You can see the arm up in the air. Ali Williams thinks it's forward. Look, he's going off his nut at Glenn Jackson. He thinks it's forward. That's probably compounded by what it probably thought he saw at the other end as well. And we'll talk about the legality of that. And it'll be one of the great debating points. To try and add the extras. And no problems at all. So suddenly, 31 to 13. As we tick down to the 80-minute mark, Lamb has got a tap. Then he gives it off to Van der Hayden. And the big lock goes charging on. The siren is gone. Ball still there for Auckland to have a go. As Anscombe moves it across to Parks. 
He in turn goes wide. Braid, and there is going to be a try in the corner for Visania. Lolangi Visania does get a late try, but it is consolation only. Gareth Anscombe lines up one last kick at goal, and he is off the post. So it's an unconverted try for Canterbury the ITM Cup champions in 2012.